the prices have all gone up and they keep rising. They'll slowly keep rising. What they're doing is, if you haven't noticed, if you really pay close attention, what's taking place is, is they're, what they're doing is they're slowly raising the prices. It's like a big jump. It's a few cents here, a few cents there, a few cents over here. And it's just more money out of your pocket that they're taking away for the same product. And some products are making smaller now. They've been doing that for years, shrinkflation. So they make the products smaller, charge you more. We need to have something done in this country to stop all this kind of ridiculous rhetoric that is going on. We need to figure out a way to come back together as a country. We need to figure out somehow how we can manage to be a country again. You see, we've been so divided, whether people want to believe that or they don't, and maybe you don't believe that, but the proof is in the pudding. You have so many people, they're, they're, they, all they want to do is fight instead of trying to figure out solutions and work together. I'm not saying everybody has to agree on everything, but there comes a time when people have to sit down and they have to try to figure out a solution to the problem instead of pointing fingers at each other. You see, we the people, we're not the ones that are making the rules and the regulations. We're the ones that are working and paying the taxes and put these people into the positions that they are through our voting system. That's how it's done. Whether you agree with the voting system, you don't agree with the voting system, however you want to look at it, that's how it's done. We have to make sure that we are standing up for our rights, our God-given rights, our constitutional rights. Um, now is the time for people to start pitching in and trying to help each other out and trying to make sure that everybody is on the same page and everybody can uh, thrive and survive and get through this difficult time that we're going through. It's not the first time we've gone through something like this, folks. Look at history. History repeats itself. We've gone through the Great Depression. People survived. All right? Millions of people survived. Was it easy? No, not at all. But they survived. We've gone through wars. We've gone through really trying times in this country. Economic downturns. Gas embargoes. We've gone through it all. And we're still here. Amazing, isn't it? But all it takes is for some people to use some common sense and put together some rules and regulations and try to get things under control and get things in check so that people can thrive and survive again. So, you know, we have too many things that are stacked against us. We have the major droughts that are still going on out west. Uh, the Mississippi River is... I can't imagine if that thing ever did dry up, what would happen because, you know, it's a main artery for moving goods and um, up and down the river has been for hundreds of years. And uh, out West, there's not enough water to go around. You know, they got to make decisions. You know, do we give water to the farmers so they can grow food? Or do we give water to the local cities that need it for the population? Uh, Lake Mead, if it keeps dropping at the rate it's dropping uh, within probably the next two years, if it doesn't stop, it'll be completely done. And there'll still be a little bit of water in there, but they'll have to turn off the dam completely. There'll be no water flowing through the dam because it'll be well below the any of the intakes, and which means there's no water that's going to be feeding out to farmers, feeding out to uh, cities, to the population, nothing. There'll be no power being generated, which is going to put half that the West in the dark unless they can come up with some solution between now and then, which I very highly doubt. I really haven't heard too many people talking about, you know, what they're going to do about the situation that we are 
going through right now that we're dealing with that is at hand. This is why we have to be prepping. This is why it is so important for people to be prepping at this point in time. Yes, it's costing you more money and everything else. Yes, it's, it's a very hard thing to keep doing. But what's harder? When everything finally just goes haywire and we have no solutions in the pipeline, 